Hello guys, welcome back to What Next English. Today you are going to know about a different, interesting, and a scoreful course. Wanna know about the course today? Okay, it is Cyber Forensics and Information Security. In Tamil Nadu, this course is available only in the University of Madras, which is in Chennai. About this course, it was started in the year of 2005. Initially, it was a diploma course. Later on, changed as a PG course in Master of Science. Due to the demand of the course increase, the number of seats in this college has also been increased. Entrance Examination Till last year, the entrance examination is for 100 multiple choice questions, whereas the 100 NCQ stands for 44 networking. 20 basics of computers, 20 aptitude, and 20 English. And if they uploaded the new syllabus or any kind of model question paper, we will upload the same in our description. Eligibility for this course is a degree in computer science, computer application, information technology, any other equivalent degree in information technology and computer science, or BSc in mathematics, physics, statistics, electronic science or any BE or BTEC. And the entire course will be for two years. The syllabus of the course is during the second year of the course, you have to do a one month internship, which is mandatory because it will be added in your credits. And during the time of your third semester, you have to do a mini projects too, which is also be included in your credits. And very importantly, in this course, there will be no programming language or any maths based subjects. The practical of the course will be networking and fundamental of cyber forensics, where basics of CCNA and concepts of data hiding, whereas the encryption and decryptions will be learned. And second practical, whereas in your second semester, cyber forensics, that is the advanced forensics tools will be taught. And in your third practicals, email and mobile forensics will be taught. And in the fourth, penetration testing will be given for your learning. So during your first semester, you will be learning fundamental of cyber forensics, fundamental of information security and all. And in the second semester, you'll be learning uh, advanced cyber forensics, advanced information security, and third semester, security and forensics of email, social network, and mobile devices, and enterprise infrastructure will be taught. And in the fourth semester, enterprise and incidents response, malware analysis, and cyber threat intelligence will be taught. And in the elective, you'll be learning cyber law, data mining, ATM security, security and forensics oriented python programming the total number of seats will be 50 whereas 20 seats is for regular and 30 seats which will be for self-supportive the difference between regular and the self-supportive will be the payment of the fee structure whereas the regular will be paying a less amount of money and self-supportive will be paying up more but the syllabus and the examination will be same application fee for the course will be 354 rupees whereas a single candidate can apply for both regular and self-supportive. It depends on their own choice. All the details regarding the registration of the course or any other course to the Madras University has given on the I icon. The nature of fee structures for regular course will be rupees 7,425 for the first year and rupees 6,310 for the second year. And whereas for the self-supportive students, for the first year, they will be paying rupees 54,270 rupees and second year they will be paying rupees 53,080 rupees. The job roles for this course will be penetration tester, incident responder, forensic expert, network administrator, security auditor, network security, security analyst, cryptologist, script analytist, intrusion detection specialist, virus technician, vulnerability assister. These are the sum job roles for this course. And regarding the placement, there is no official details in the university webpage. For the boomerang field has a lot of opportunity in future both in private and, and also in government sector. As India is becoming digital India, more problems related to security arises and job opportunities keep increasing day by day. So this course will be a very good choice. Thank you.